Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to go over a whiteboard interview question that I had. This is a real one from real life. I went, when I was interviewing at a company in Lehigh, Utah, and, and you know, you start you start off with, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, and they got to know me a little bit, my history, my background, that kind of stuff, how I got into programming, and then uh, when we got to the technical portion of the interview, he wanted me to, he actually gave me a marker, and they had a whiteboard, and he said, all right, so, well, and he had me do it two different, two different ways, so here's how it was. He said, let's say we have a SQL database with uh, a table for all of our employees. And he said, now let's assume that we've hired you and you're, you're in there somewhere. So go, go find yourself by name. So go find you, get all of your information based on your name. And I said, okay. And I think I asked him some clarifying questions like, is the table named a specific thing? You know, is there anything else I need to know? But essentially he said, you know, it doesn't, you know, that kind of stuff doesn't matter for this. We just want to see that you understand the concept of getting this information out of SQL database. And I was like, okay. So I said, okay, so I would get all the columns from the employees table where name equals Lauren. And I said, you could use equal or you could use, and this depends a little bit on what kind of SQL it is, but you could use I like Lauren Pabs instead of an equal sign. And this is case insensitive. So that way, if my name in the database isn't capitalized the right way or something, I would still pull it out. He said, okay, great. That looks good. He said, now let's do it in JavaScript. So he said, instead of SQL, let's assume that we have a JavaScript array, and each item in the array is one employee, and it has all that same information, like name, age, title, description, whatever. So he said, go through that array and find yourself. I said, okay. So this is essentially, in my head, what I visualized that it would look like. And I even, and I think this is good to do in a whiteboard interview, I even wrote something like this on the board. I, I uh, detailed out, um, like here's an array, here's some objects in the array, each one has a name and an age, and, and that way I could visualize what I was looking at, and he could visualize what I had in my head. So I think that was really important. And so I wrote something similar to this on the board, and I said, okay, so then I would do a for loop. Then data.length i plus plus. So this will start at the beginning and go until the very end of this array. And if data at i dot name equals Lauren, and in this case, right, the name's just Lauren, and you can you could have it be the same thing here where capitalizing and stuff and maybe the names have the capitalization that part wasn't too important he was more worried about the the concept right that I knew how to use a for loop and and that kind of stuff so if data at position I dot name equals Lauren and I guess if we're gonna return it we need this to be inside of a function so there is a function Position I. Let's see. It's not like oh function. <laughs> Didn't name it. Okay, get employee. And if you do a function, you could even pass in something like name, and then you don't have to do this anymore. It can just if data dot if okay data at position I dot name is equal to the name that got passed in here as a parameter, then you return that object. And you could do uh, get employee, and now we can pass in my name and you'll see that it returns my object and you could do this with any of these right so oh let's see <laughs> there we go alright so let's do Jamie get employee Jamie and there she is so that was the whiteboard interview question that I got um, I interviewed at a lot of places that was the only place that actually gave me a whiteboard interview question a lot of places wanted me to uh, they gave me a, like an assignment almost and said build something like this and you have overnight, you know, get, get it to us by tomorrow. And those I think were better. I liked it better because it more demonstrated what I would actually be doing at the job. It was usually instead of just a whiteboard interview question that has no bearing on what you're doing in the job, it was an assignment that was similar to things I would be doing on the job. So it kind of demonstrate my ability to, to work with those specific things. Whiteboard interview questions I think do have have their place. Uh, an interviewer gets to see how you think, how you communicate, that kind of stuff. And I think that's an important piece to remember if you do get a whiteboard interview question is, yeah, they want to see that you can code and they want to see you write this stuff out. 
But also I think the more thing they're worried about is how you think and how you process information. So I think it's good to do this kind of stuff where you write out something on the board, you give them an example in your head of how you're going to go through it, maybe even write out some pseudocode and say, here's how I'm going to approach this, and then you write the code. That gives them multiple opportunities to see how you think, how you process information. So anyways, that was my experience with the whiteboard interview questions. I hope you liked the video. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any. Like or subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video.